Hello everyone, this is Amiti Sensei. Today I will talk about how to make some awesome documents using the app Keynote on your iPad. There might be not a lot of people using Keynote on iPad, but it's got a lot of great features and I totally recommend it for making presentation materials like this. So please give it a try if you're interested. For this tutorial, I already prepared some materials to share with you. Here we have a document that talks about ways to burn your body fat. I'm just putting a table at the top and dropping some circles with some words inside. But it looks a bit too plain, so in this video I will show you how to make it easier on the eyes while also making it pop. The easiest and fastest way to make your document stand out is to play with the colors. For example, to add color to your table, you can select the table, go to the top and change the table colors to whatever you like. You can also change the colors of each cell one by one just by tapping the cell and choosing a color on the fill cell. If you want to change this uppermost row all at once, just tap the very first cell, hold it, and then tap the rightmost cell. This way you can choose all 4 cells at once. You gotta get the knack for this because it can be hard to do. Press the first cell, and while holding your finger there, tap the fourth cell. This is how you can choose all 4 at once. Now we can change the color for all 4 cells to purple for instance. From here we are going to add text to each cell. If you have a keyboard, it's definitely better to use it. But if you don't have it, or if you find typing text a hassle, there's an app for converting handwriting into text. I've talked about it before, and the app is called Magic. With this you can write at the bottom and then insert it into the cell. I mainly use it for Japanese text, but it also works with letters in English, so feel free to give it a try. Now we are going to add some color to these frames in the middle here. Right now the background is just gray, but if we go to the style tab above and choose a different color from the fill color section, we can change that. And if you want to change the color of the text inside, go to the text section and choose a different color in fill color. And this will change the text color. Here's a little trick for deciding on colors. If you're a beginner, I suggest keeping yourself to two distinct colors. This time we are only using purple and yellow, and we won't be using any other colors. This will give the entire document more of a uniform feel. If you use too many colors, it gets a bit confusing and difficult to tell which parts are really important, so please keep this in mind. I find it pretty important. Next up, I'm going to talk about how to lighten up this part here with the numbers. This is for presentations, so they talk about increasing sales, saying things like our customer satisfaction rate is 9% or we earn third place on such and such a ranking. For stuff like this, increasing the size of just a number makes it really stand out. So let's do that now. First we take the number and delete it, and then make the surrounding text smaller. We are also leaving some space for where we are writing the big number. Here is where we are going to put the text. This time I'm doing this with my Apple Pencil, so let's write a number by hand. For that we press the plus button above and then press the photo button on the right side. There is an option labeled drawing, which is second from the bottom, so go ahead and pick that. 
This will bring up a color play at the bottom and let you write by hand. This is something you can't really do on PC or Mac, and it's something that only works on your iPad, so please make use of it. Now we are going to write the number in the space we created using what's called bubble letters, making the numbers really thick. I'm writing right now that Japan is 185th out of 190 countries when it comes to obesity rate. Now we want to make the 185 stand out, right? So that's the only part that we make it bigger. And if you ever find that you made it too big, you go to the far right in the color panel. It might be a bit difficult to see, but this is the move tool. With this tool, you can draw around the numbers to move them. There's also a size change button too that you can press to change the size after you're done. If it looks a bit rough or like one of the numbers is smaller than the other, just use this to fix them. To add some color to your bubble letters, go to the third option from the right in the color palette, the bottom that looks like a 2. This is the fill color option. Then you take a color from the color palette, purple or yellow, because they're the only two colors we decided to use, and then draw around only the parts you want to color in. By the way, if you just color them with a ballpoint pen, you color over the black outlines too. So to make sure that you keep these outlines visible while color them in, remember to use the tube looking button. Actually, there is an easy way to do it. You can just tap inside the black outlines and color them in. A little thing about the number designs. I'm using bubble letters right now, but there is a lot of other designs. If you're interested, you can just take a look at sites like Pinterest and search number design or numbers. You'll find a lot of results popping up. It might be a good idea to use these designs as a reference to look at while you're drawing your own numbers. Finally, we have this weight loss mechanism section down here. I want to add some icons and infographics down here to make it easier to understand and explain the issue. Just like before, we are going to put the big numbers right in the middle, so let's open up an area to write them in. Then we press the plus button, select the join option at the bottom, and the color palette will pop up. We are going to use this to draw faces and other little icons just like we drew the numbers before. For presentation documents like this, the drawings don't need to be super professional. For example, here I'm drawing an icon to explain how the body breaks down and transports body fat. The picture just has to help the audience understand those concepts. What's important here is whether or not your audience can get it at a glance. So I would say the simpler, the better.
There's a trick for drawing these little people icons. The way I do it is by drawing a six, that's the number six. Then I draw a little line coming off for the hair and just swing it for the body. What's really important is how the hands and feet move. You really convey what the person is doing using these. For example, for transport, you might draw someone using their hands to carry something while walking around. Then for decomposition, you can draw something coming apart and a person going like this with their hands in the air. I think most people can draw something like this really well. Of course, you need to practice a little first, drawing the six, the hair coming out, the face, and then the hands and feet in motion. As long as you keep these things in mind, you should be all set. Alright, that's all for today. How was it everyone? We managed to create some cute presentation materials that would draw people's attention. This tutorial was more for students so I went with a more pop style, but for a working professional you might want to adjust by toning down images and numbers. But the tricks for color choice and making things like the numbers to nail, these are some techniques you can apply anywhere, so be sure to try them out in lots of different contexts. When I did this at the Today at Apple event, everyone actually did this together and handed them in at the end. You can see that everyone came out with some really adorable unique designs. We didn't have much time but I was so surprised by how good their drawings came out. You can see that they're also keeping things toned down like the colors and the numbers. They all have their own unique styles but we can tell they all fits together. If you search with the hashtag Today at Apple, you can find their works so definitely look up today at Apple on Instagram or Twitter. Today we cover a pretty detailed review of the event materials. I'd like to end this video with a small announcement. I finally created my official website and here you can find my past and current works as well as my personal profile. So if you're interested, please take a look. I did the design this time myself. It's been a while since I did web design last time, so it was pretty fun. So please go ahead and check it out from the link in the description. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you to everyone who took a part in today at Apple. I really can't wait to do another seminar in person, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all again when I do. Alright, that's it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad, so please do that too. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!